Hi community, how are you doing? It's Spirit Guide. I'm about to close my window. I just, <laughs> I hear a, like a truck or something getting ready to pass. I love to have my window open when I do reads because I love it. But lately, because I've been reading at all different times of the day and night, it's been difficult to do that. So, all right. So here we go. Here we go. Hopefully everyone is having a beautiful and abundant day. Uh, and just, you know, checking in, just a quick little check-in. This is going to be a full oracle read. There will be no tarot used. So, um, let's get into it, okay? Uh, this is amethyst, okay? This is the little amethyst, and that's what's in here, if some of you are wondering. I know those who are always with my channel, you know, but this is just a little, you know, it just holds all the crystals. Um, and when I charge them, I charge them like that. Uh, you charge your crystals by the window. You can charge them in the moonlight if you want, um, but I don't do that. I just, I use the sunlight. <laughs> I like everything of the light. <laughs> Plus sun is a, um, is an oxen, oxygenator, right? So sun helps you generate oxygen. So it's always good if you don't feel your best when you wake up in the morning, um, open your windows and, and open your blinds and let whatever sun is up when you're up in, even if it's a little bit amount. It gives you that oxygen. It gives you the, you know, vitamin D later in the day, but it gives you life. So that's always a great thing. Okay. All right. Let's, let's get into it. So I'm doing an Oracle read, a full Oracle read, and um, I'm going to be looking at what energy should we be using to begin this week? Okay. What energy should we be using to begin this week? Okay. All right, so let me start with these cards, these energies. All right, you know my one-woman show over here. <laughs> Hold on. I always feel like it's so dark. That looks so much better. Oh, my goodness. I almost didn't put a video, um, a recording out um, because I just, I couldn't do the, the darkness. It was too much, you know. All right, so don't forget February 14th, everybody. I will be live, okay? I will be doing a live. I will advertise, which I'm doing now, um, but I will advertise more, okay? So it'll be like maybe, um, I'm gonna think at like probably eight o'clock at night, or I don't wanna cut into your time. So maybe about like five, six o'clock if you can make it, you know? And, and I'll only be on for like an hour, you know? And I'll, I'll answer questions and things like that. And I will also um, talk, do yes, no's. Uh, yes, no questions without explanation. Um, yeah, so just as a time for us to be together and to talk and stuff like that. I'm going to be doing a lot more premieres um, because I like watching with you guys. Remember when we only had like eight subbies? <laughs> I love all my subbies. Uh, we had only about eight of them and I thought I was doing something with eight subbies. I was like, ooh, I have eight subbies, you know? Um, but yeah, so we used to do that a lot. I would, I would always advertise on the thumbnail to tell you when it, the premiere was coming on and, and a few people would show up. So I'm, I'm thinking we're going to get back into that. Cause to me, that's like movie night, you know, like all your friends getting together, you know, popcorn break, empath break, movie night, you know? So yeah, so we're going to, we have fun at this channel. Okay, here we go. So what energy are we, do we need to take into this work week, school week, this productive week? Okay, um, intuitively, I'm getting, first I need the sage, because the energies are going in circles. <laughs> I don't know if they know where to stop. Um, okay, cleansing breath. Yeah, see, that's why I was so high energy. It was, the, the, the uh, energies were going like this, I felt. Like, it didn't know where to go. Um... Yeah, so as our work school productive week begins, we need to know where are we starting at? Oh, where are we starting at, right? Question, we're starting as a divine matrix. Beautiful card. Number is 44, okay? Um, quick fact, fun fact, um, in different states, you know, as a lottery, 44 has been the number three separate in three separate wins, just to let you know. So 44, divine matrix, okay? So intuitively in a divine matrix, what that means is everything and everyone works together for the common good. Okay. 
So we are being with this divine matrix here, and then you have a face coming out of divine matrix on the bottom. If you don't see it, don't worry. That's just a part of my empathic abilities. Um, sometimes I see things that are difficult to see or that maybe the naked eye does not always pick up like those, um, those things where they say only 2% of the population can see it. Like they come on, um, they're like memes or whatever. I'm usually a part of those populations. So that's just what it is. Um, but anyway, so in a divine matrix, what happens is everything works together for the common good to, to benefit the common good, the greater good. Okay. So in benefiting the greater good, it does not mean every single person will win. Okay. It does mean that the greater good is going to get, um, a reward or get something for, for their service for what they've been doing. Okay. So as this is the energy that's coming up for this work school and productive week, you're being, we, um, in the community too, are being, um, guided to work together. Right, to work together and to stay focused on tasks that we're given. Because whether you believe so or not, I'm going to get one more energy on it. Whether you believe so or not, oh, beautiful. Look, gorgeous. Um, whether you believe so or not, when you're working together in a matrix, um, everybody's happiness, sadness, mistakes, and achievements are essential to the matrix, right? That's what continues it growing, okay? So um, value everyone I'm hearing, okay? Value everyone, okay? All right, let me get one more energy on this divine matrix, please. Actually, let me take it off a little pedestal. And let me put it with the regular people <laughs> so we can build off of it, okay? All right, man, please have some energy to help with the divine matrix. So as there's a matrix, um, and it says, of course, it's divine, meaning it's of the greater good, of the higher good. So you're being, we're being asked to be more patient, kind, uh, dismissive, meaning don't take everything so serious, right? Because that's a part of divinity where not everything is, <laughs> oh my goodness. And you saw me, I don't know if you saw me digging for that card. I wasn't, you know, I never look. I just was, I shuffled it. And then the cards were kind of like this. And I just was like, really? And I wasn't looking. I was just really trying to get that card out, right? So we're asked to work together for the, the higher good, the common good, right? And to be dismissive, meaning don't take everything so much to heart, right? Don't do that. Things are working out for everyone's common good. Even if it's negative, it's still working for your common good. It might be negative in one sense, but remember, every every half of negative is positive. So if it's negative in one sense, it means divine is saying it wasn't for you. So the positive is the other side, okay? So don't worry about it. And when I ask for energy on it, see beyond, seeing beyond. Use your intuition, okay? Use your intuition. That's what I mean by greater than the, the, the greater good, higher than the greater good, right? So that is the confirmation to the divine matrix. Okay, so this is going to, this week is going to be pivotal because it's going to test. It's going to test, this week is going to test your resilience, how much you're going to allow to get to you. Okay, and in a divine matrix, we're not, not everyone in it is there for positive okay don't forget that not everyone there is in it for positive all right um sometimes of course you have to have in nature good and bad you know um and those are our timelines that we're on but this week we are in a matrix coming up there's a matrix going on so everyone has to work within tandem work together the good and the bad so you may be, and you're asked to see higher, see beyond your situation. Um, you know, in this week, you may have more people with negative intentions coming towards you because it's a matrix, right? So it's like a, a circle. So everything goes together. So in times where we have heightened um, abilities and we have heightened sensitivities, what begins to happen is 
good is going to always attract dark. It just happens. Uh, you can see it now with my lighting, right? It is bright in here. Trust me. I have the window open, the shade, everything, the lights on, but it doesn't look that bright. But it is. The dark is still here, okay? So hopefully that's going to hone it in for you. So when we're asked in the matrix to see beyond our own reality, understand things happen for a reason, and we don't always know the reason right away, okay? Only divine does. Um, you're also asked to self-reflect, to be a mirror. So in your divine matrix behavior this week, right, you're going to be a mirror for someone. You're going to be their mirror. You're not only mirroring their behavior, they're mirror, mirroring yours. So you're looking into a mirror in this matrix, right? Matrixes are the ability for us to see how can we do better and to do better. That's what a matrix, when we're caught in a matrix, that's what we're doing, okay? And when you are looking at the reflection to understand how you, oh my goodness, <laughs> how you fit in, um, begin to think to yourself exactly how else you can fit in, right? So no selfishness, right? Take selfishness out. <laughs> and the one that I was working hard to get that fell on the floor is messages. So you're going to start getting messages from within, okay? Messages could be from divine, could be from within, but you're going to have messages within your reflection period. Okay, take them seriously. Okay, and just start working on you. This is a working on you week. Okay, all right, let me see. Can I have some energy, please, on seeing beyond? Seeing beyond. Can I have energy on seeing beyond, please? Seeing beyond. Is there any energy for seeing beyond? Ha, <laughs> look at that. I love it. <sighs> seeing beyond, see your personal power. Put your crown on, king and queen, divine feminine, divine masculine. Put your crown on, okay? See your personal power, right? See who you are. That's your mirror, right? Put it right next to mirror. Hone that personal power. That's who you are. This week, you're going to be asked to show it more, okay? Whoa, that's a lot. I'll just take the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, I'll just, I'll take them all that came out, but, you know, I usually don't take that many cards, but I will, because I'm looking at the messages, and it's a message for somebody. Okay, so within your, after, when you see your personal power, this is a power of self-discovery, right? A labyrinth. It's a journey. You're on a journey. In with this week coming up, you were on a journey, Okay. So really, this week is about you. It's about figuring out who you are and what your what your purpose is and what you're going to do from this point forward, okay? But you are, I'm going to put this on personal power, you are asked to caution. You are asked to caution. And that's going to go on personal power. You're asked to use caution when exercising your personal power because this is a matrix week. Because... That's the leading energy that came out. If you exert way too much personal power, th this message is telling me that it's not, how can I put this? You're going to find your personal power this week, right? Activating that third eye, your intuition, you're going to see it. But you're asked to just see it, own it, harness it. Don't use it. Caution, don't use it. You're not ready yet for it. Okay, you're going to, you just, it's like, you're just like, you remember when you get new outfits when you were, you know, a kid and you were happy about it, or even as a teenager, I like new outfits as a teenager too. When I got my, I'm, I'm a sneakerhead. I used to be. So I would get like, uh, you know, nothing like Jordans or nothing like that. I mean, we weren't rich, but I, I would get, um, Reeboks were my thing. I loved Reeboks. Okay. Um, and anyone from New York knows Reeboks are the thing. <laughs> Um, so I didn't really, I wasn't a Nike person like Air Force. I wasn't an Air Force person. I'm older, so I'm an Air Force person now, but because it reminds me of that era. 
But um, anyway, um, I'm more of a Reebok person. So I remember I had like Reebok, um, the white ones. Um, I think they were called Crystals. The name was Crystal. Um, then I had... Um, so I had Reebok crystals, I believe it was called, starts with a C. Um, then I had, um, oh, it almost came to me. It wasn't crystal though. That, you know how I'm going through physical therapy guys. But anyway, so it's Reebok with the C and then I had a pair of yellow Reeboks, you know, those are the high top ones. And then I had a pair of, it was actually this color. It was like a, a, a purplish bluish Reebok and it was like a suede feeling material. I love those sneakers. I love those sneakers. Those were my favorite sneakers. And when I had them, I was like 16, 17. No, I wasn't 17. I was like 15, 16 with those sneakers. I bought all kinds. Of, I took the sneakers with me to like the Coliseum so that I could match up the sweaters I wanted with it, you know. <laughs> and um, in saying all of that, um, I had, so that's the feeling of the personal power, right? I felt I had personal power. I had power to choose, you know, what color shirt I wanted to match my like smooshy feeling sneakers, you know? And I bought like a book bag. It was like a suede book bag that matched the sneakers. I, I went all out. So that's an example of personal power, right? So I harnessed it. I felt it. I didn't use it, right? But I, I just kept it, right? So that's that feeling, okay? But you're asked with caution, you're asked not to use it just yet because you don't know how to use it, I'm hearing. This is new. You don't know how to use this. And if you don't know how to use it, it can be harmful, okay? All right, and the caution part also is because you're asked to caution because of your ancestry, okay? Because of your ancestry. So you might actually be an individual that has some type of gifts, um, you know, uh, metaphysical gifts. You might have some type of um, psychic ability. There's something in your bloodline, your ancestor, your bloodline that is now becoming clear to you. That's why they're saying your personal power, once you identify it, be careful. Okay, be very careful with it. You don't know how to use it yet. I, I heard that clear. You don't know how to use it yet, okay? All right, but you're having a good week coming up, okay? Matrix, we're all in it. All right, let me get an Alice in Wonderland, please. Alice in Wonderland on mirror. Alice in Wonderland on our reflection. Let's see, Alice, what do you have to say about that? Huh. I wonder what will happen next, right? That's exactly what your reflection is going to be on. That's the energy you should be in during the Matrix week. That's the energy. What's going to happen full of wonder and observing everything and everyone. Okay. All right. One more. Okay. Your mortality you're looking at. Life is brief, bright, beautiful, and yours to live. Right. There's your personal power one. They came out back to back from each other. Okay. So you're just kind of looking at how you're going to live the rest of your life right now. All right. Okay, one positive blessing on this. So this is your oracle read. This is a hundred percent oracle. Okay, this is no um <laughs> oh y'all didn't see that. Oh, okay. I have to uh somehow reposition this camera as you can see it. When I was shuffling, this card did like that, flew up and came back down. Um, so this is a pure oracle read. I'll be doing um this is my gift set, um, the the active gift set. Um so I will be doing more of these on this channel as well. And of course, you'll still have your tarot, okay? But these full oracles, I'm going to try to do them at the beginning of every week, okay? So they will be available on Mondays, okay? All right. So like today. <laughs> okay, so um, the positive oracle that came out, I let go of all expectations, okay? That's again, that's that freedom, the matrix, seeing beyond, just, just kind of going with the flow. Right, go on, we'll put it over here. Go on with the flow, okay? And when you go with the flow, what begins to happen is you are then um, open to any and all possibilities, okay? All right, let me have one more positive <laughs> affirmation. Uh, your friend, community dog, unfortunately, you know, she had a, um, it was an ear infection. And of course, 
like the um not not infection, sorry, ear allergy, and she had skin allergy. So that's what she was going crazy about. Thank you, spirit. That's what she was going crazy about. Um, so <laughs> we took the cone off for a little bit. She had her ear drops, but she's messing with her ear because of the drops. So I put it back on. So that's where all of that came from. <laughs> Okay, so don't forget throughout the week, say this, say it proud as you walk around, as you look in mirrors, as you talk to people, say it internally as you move through life. I am beautiful and everyone loves me. There's the matrix. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Have a blessed and beautiful day. Bye-bye.